Rated G. What's up guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer. We're playing Transport Fever 2 yet again. We're on Chapter 3, um, the Sinful South mission right now is what we're going to end up doing. Quick disclaimer on like all my videos, I'm trying to do this as quickly and as fast as possible. Um, I will show you how to do all the main mission tasks along with all the bonus tasks in a quick manner. Just because I do something one way doesn't mean it can't be done another way. FYI, just moving forward. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. The Sinful South. The Sunshine State as the 1980s begin. Until recently known primarily as a paradise for the retired, lately the state of Florida... Can't say I like this mission that much. I, I do like the map that it's on. For some reason I like maps that have islands with the, uh, to shoot up all the kind of vacation Miami. Caribbean atmosphere. The trade embargo I think in this Cuba, mission it has Cuba at the south the and then uh, I want to say Florida up the north, US but we'll find right out here, here in a minute. And if I look like crap, it's because it's 12.01 uh, <laughs> a.m. and I need sleep. But I want to do this mission on video so I can get it up on YouTube and try to complete out or complete the um, uh, campaign for this game. Which will hopefully be sooner than later, although I am enjoying it. I'm, uh, it's kind of monotonous at this time. A lot of the missions are way too easy too, which that's a whole different story. So I'll have a review once I finish the campaign in full. Um, I don't want to make a review until I beat everything that I can. All right, the sinful south. I'm gonna skip the video, just FYI. You've already done I'm a bit of this, all this. And that in the course of all kinds of good stuff comes from skipping all the talking. Help your con. Okay, per ship, deliver 50 cigars, 50 run from Cuba, as well as 100 fruit from the Bahamas, which is right there to Miami. <laughs> So it looks like we do have a port down here. We also have a port up there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all three of these to the port because you can see Miami does need the rum, the cigars, and the goods. So let's get this all set up. First and foremost, we need the truck stations. Pretty straightforward. That's one. Three. I'm just gonna put a truck station up here. I could have put a truck stop, but I'm gonna use a truck station on this one. And we do need a road depot at some point. Let's put it up here, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and set up all three of these lines real quick. So it's gonna be rum, cigars, and goods. So name this truck rum to port. Next line will be cigars to port. And next line will be goods to port. All right, next thing we need is gonna be trucks on the route. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna add I don't know, probably three trucks to each route for the time being. I can always go back and add more. So cigars, goods, and rum. Now we need to go ahead and set up a line for the C, going from port to port. So this will be C, port to port. I guess we should specify what port as well, Cuba port to Miami port. There we go. And we need to set up another one over here too. But to do that, we first need a cargo harbor. Do wanna make sure it's connected there. I'm always add a road. That's good though. I'm just gonna put this guy down here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it up here. Out of the way. And let's go ahead and set up the second line. So this will be from the Bahamas to Miami. Oh, you know what? Before I do that. Mm, I kind of messed that up. I need to make sure it's. Actually, that doesn't need a large dock. Never mind. We're good. 
So this will be C, and it's going to be the Bahamas. Port to Miami port. There we go. And I just want to double check up here. When the goods get delivered here, both the fruit, the rum, and cigars, I want to make sure... Okay, so the bulk of it's all up here. I'm going to make one stop over here just to make sure the goods are getting delivered. And to do that, we do need a truck station, obviously, down here. Pretty important. I don't want to remove that many buildings if I don't have to, but I will. Okay. Do it right there. And let's set up this line right here. Truck. This will be Miami Port to City. All right, before we add trucks to that, let's go ahead and make sure we get the boat set up. So for the route down here from Cuba up to Miami, I wanna make sure it has at least two to three compartments. Four compartments is perfect, so we'll use this guy right here. We will add a second boat to the route sooner than later. And then for the Bahamas route, we don't need any compartments, so the towboat's gonna to be our best option on that. We will add a second towboat to the Bahamas route as well. So that's all set up. Let's go ahead and put it in the 4X. We'll double check everything here in a minute. And let's set up this uh, route right here. We do need a road depot. And I'm just gonna put two guys on this route for the time being. Let me put the city, there we go. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so we have trucks running, bring in materials to the port. We got fruit. Stocking up to go to Miami as well. So everything looks to be going good. So goods, cigars, and rum going to port. Port transfer to Miami, and that will get delivered throughout Miami. Uh, next step, I'm kind of going way ahead. There's multiple things that we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and set up an air route of passengers from uh, this island to Miami if I can. So let's go ahead and set up the line. Oh, we can't do it yet. So, just kidding guys. We're gonna wait on that. What we can do is go ahead and set up this route. We're gonna need this down the road as well. And I'm gonna call this the hovercraft route because it's gonna be a mission later on in the game. And then I am going to set up another terminal right there, or shipyard. I'm just going to go ahead and put one hovercraft on it for now. So I guess, yeah, air is not available yet, unfortunately. Alright, next step is we do need to get the food down here. And we can also deliver food to Miami and food to Key West. So let's go ahead, excuse me, let's go ahead and add the road real quick for that. And do this right here. Quick away. Uh, that right there. Of course, I can't upgrade that. And we just need a truck stop here. But we do need a truck station up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up the line. Oh, this is called down here. Oh, film crew catering. So, food processor to film crew. And I'm just going to put one guy on that line for the time being. Let's 
check the lines down south to make sure things are going good. So we have fruit getting delivered. We already have a ton of rum and things loading up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a ship to both lines real quick. And then this might be a little bit of overkill for now on this one, but that's fine. Let's so go from Bahamas port to Miami port. All right. Let's go ahead and add another truck or two to this line. That line looks to be good and that line is good. All right, so this is pulling all the rum and cigars that we need to be delivered. Got the hovercraft running. Next step is we can go ahead and start delivering construction materials um, up here to Fort Myers and to West Palm Beach. Let's go ahead and set that route up real quick. And just need a truck stop up here. Let's see what gives us the most bang for a buck. Probably right there. Upgrade that. Although I made that smaller, didn't I, on those roads? That's fine. For now, we can always change it if we need to. All right, so we need a truck station outside of here. Fort Myers, I believe. Materials to Fort Myers. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put one truck on that line. And then we need materials to West Palm Beach as well. Like a truck stop up there. Set up the line. put one on that route as well. All right, so we got materials getting delivered. We got food getting delivered. We could have food going to Miami. In fact, we probably should set that up as well. Let's just put it anywhere in this area. So this will be truck, food processor to Miami. I'll put two trucks on that. We can also have food going down to Key West too. That's not a bad idea. Um, we are gonna have to end up getting tram passengers down here in the future, but let's set up just one more cargo route, even though it's really not needed so much. Let's put one truck on it. Now go from the food processor to Key West. one truck on there all right quite a few lines set up right now let's go ahead and I'm trying to be proactive thinking about the future let's see do we need another I'm going to go ahead and put another ship on this line do we need another truck down here yeah probably need another truck or two on this one Put one more truck. I think those are going pretty good. The Border Patrol has stepped up its... Your job here is super duper. 
Don't let yourself get mad by the boys with badges. That's unpleasant enough all by itself. But when your client gets wind of it... So I'm just gonna stop all the ships going... Moving around. Although I don't think the hovercraft really matters that it goes through there. Stop anyways, just in case. Just put a halt on everything until this basically counts down. Basically aborting any boats with illegal materials going through there. We don't want that to happen. We are in 4x, so obviously the time's counting down quite a bit faster, which is good, and that's what we want. Seconds. You're doing such a good job. Meanwhile, the sea route has gotten pretty risky. That's why it's better to take a plane. Disguise the venture as a vacation airline so that the authorities don't get wise to you. Okay, so a couple things. We got to uh, deliver 25 cigars and 25 run from Cuba which is down here, as well as 15 passengers from Nassau to Miami. Let's go ahead and set up this route first. And I want to see if we can actually, I don't think we can. Mr. Manu Mikael helped the desperate farmer to recapture the reptiles in his care before they suddenly visit him on his porch. I'm going to expand the, the Miami airport, but let's go ahead and just do it without expanding. It's not too big to of a deal. Boats. Set up the air route first. So air. <laughs> to Miami and let's put plane on there and then we do have we need 25 rum and cigars to go to the airport so I may take that off this route altogether Okay, let's do this here. We need two new lines. Oh. I need a truck station first. First and foremost, truck station. We really just want that going to the airport. I don't want it going to the city, though. Set up the two routes. This will be truck. It will be rum to uh, Cuban airport. And then line two will be cigars to Cuban airport. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually switch these lines completely off. So I wanna change all these vehicles on this line to the rum to Cuban Airport. There we go. And then we wanna change this line as well for the cigars. So everything that's on this line needs to go to the airport as well. Then we need to set up this air route. Cuba to Miami. Let's go ahead and put a plane on it. At least two. I'll add the other one in just a second. First and foremost, I want to put a truck station over here just in case we need to pick up the goods and transport them for any reason. So, there we go. I'm going to set up two more. This will be truck. We don't really need these, I don't think, but Miami Airport to. Miami. Let's 
port to Miami 2. I'm just gonna put one truck on each. Again, it's a little bit of overkill, but I'm making this go as fast as possible. So there's the first one. Oh, I've, I misspelled the other one. Ah. Airport, did I name it wrong? Oh, I did name it wrong. Going too fast for my own good. Where is it at? Air. This should be truck. There we go. All right. Next step is actually fairly easy. We need five hovercraft in this area and we can literally stop it in this area if we need to. We're going to put this on this route as well. Keep it to Miami. There's another aircraft on that route as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy uh, just five more hovercraft for the time being. We got plenty of money. And we need to add it to the hovercraft route. And we basically need to click on them ahead of time to stop them. Let's slow it down a little bit. Because these guys take forever to stop. a little quicker than what I thought. I should hit it right there. Five in that area. There we go. At last, all the they gave you or gave us the see you later alligator. Now we're just going to basically get rid of all but probably. Actually, keep them running because we're going to need these later on. Probably sell maybe two or three of them. <coughs> Alright, that would be C. I have a craft route. Go ahead and get rid of three for the time being. We can add more later down the road. Okay. Let's turn this guy around. Put it back in 4X. What's going on with the cigars? Are we not getting cigars to the airport? Is everything on the rum line? I think so. Yeah, there's, there's, look how many trucks are on that line, so I kind of made a mistake. Let's put five on, where is it, cigars to Cuban airport. There we go. This is totally overkill, by the way, all these trucks on here. Yeah, I messed that up. Whoops. Go ahead and sell these. There we go. So we already have 24 rum delivered from the airplanes or from the airport. We just need 25 cigars and we need 50 passengers. I was gonna try to upgrade this airport. Do we have to? No, I would like to though. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this road. I'm going to go in here and configure this if it will allow me to. Okay, so there's the runway. Construction lock. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that sucks. We can't add the second runway like I wanted to. No fun. So basically killed that road for no reason. No bueno.
That's taken rum. What I'm going to do is configure this line to take mostly the cigars now, since we have plenty of rum. Uh, we'll get to the line. So it would be air. And by doing this, we're just going to reduce the load level of the rum down tremendously. Probably 10% would be enough. playing on the run for now and I want to see what it loads up with it should load up with the cigars first there we go so that's bringing over 12 cigars has people aboard Need one more run Actually, two more the way things are going, but. So these two will take the rest of the cigars that we need. There we go. And once this ends, we can switch this back to the pour. I think that's more convenient, less expensive. We need another truck on this one. Go ahead and add one more truck to that route. No, just gonna pull one. There we go. And when these planes land, there's 12 cigars right there. Gave us seven instantly and it's transporting five to Miami, so we are getting the full amount. Which is 12, this will be the next 12. And then the next plane should be the last amount, which I think is this one right there. Yep. Okay, we'll be knocking that out. Then we need, what, four more passengers? Doing pretty good. Still less than 30 minutes, and we're rolling through this mission pretty quickly. Passengers. Now we just need those cigars delivered. There we go. There's one plane landing. I wonder why those cigars never got delivered. There he goes. We just delivered it. I guess because the traffic's so bad in town. As these trucks pick up these cigars, we should be good to go. Earnings are pretty good right now, over two million. That really goes every two months on the earnings, if I remember right. Planes are actually making quite a bit of money doing this, but to me the, the sea route's much easier. We can do it in bulk too. Well, that profit's not too bad. Cigars should be checked off any second now, and then we'll take it off the, uh, we'll switch these back to the port is what we're going to end up doing for both the rum and the cigars. Hopefully I do it correctly this time and pay attention. 
one seems to be running pretty good. 114, carries 175, so two boats on that is good. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this one because I do want a fourth one running this route. Cigars should get delivered any second. I know the traffic's crazy, but it has goods. Nothing. There we go. Alright, so now we have to avoid the or no aircraft with questionable cargo. So this is the perfect time to get rid of all the aircraft. Let's go ahead and do that. Go to air vehicles only. So we want to get rid of base, go all of Cuba to Miami. We can keep the passenger flights, it's not a problem. And I do want to go ahead and switch these. So this is the rum. And we want to switch it basically to the port. So run the port. And let me find one that's a cigar runner. There we go. So all these need to go basically cigars to port. Did I do that right? Hopefully I did that right. I'm gonna completely get rid of this line, the Cuba. Actually, I'll keep the Cuba to Miami line for the time being. No, we can get rid of that. I don't think we need it anytime soon. And that should give us the avoiding uh, the border patrol within so many seconds. So we'll let that run down and tick off. Actually, I'm gonna stop this guy outside. We'll try to spread the boats out just a little bit more if we can. Okay, we'll go ahead and run it now. Better than what it was. Your client is extremely satisfied with your reliable deliveries. You have different options. So we're going to go ahead and let's build for senior citizens seem just as lucrative let's do the spring as the break deal resort. Involving... Take the earnings from your shady transport company and invest them soundly. Build a never-ending party town for the younger generation. Right, so we're already delivering construction foods. materials it's there. The only way we just need 25 rum to go there as well. So it's for that pretty easy. We're just going to make a new line from here up to there. Truck. And this will be... What's the name of the town? West Palm Beach. Rum delivery. Actually, rum to West Palm delivery. Let's go and put two trucks on that line. be rum to West Palm delivery. There we go. You can see we already got the construction materials going, so we're good on that. In fact, I can add another vehicle to that line to make that tick off a little quicker. All right, what I don't want to do is I don't want any rum going to the port in Miami, so I'm going to look at this, and I want to take the rum off this line. Take that off, and let's take off this. There we go. All the rum coming in should go to the other line. It may take a little bit to do it, but. We need a bunch more trucks on this route. Miami Port to City. It might take another ship or two before we start seeing the rum go north. Let's see if this one does it or not. Nothing. 
nothing on that. So let's check to make sure Rum's leaving here. Just don't think we have enough going there. There's vehicles. I'm gonna go ahead and add two more. That line. Alright, so this one has 53 rum going. What does this one have? That's oh, a different one. When this ship, worst case scenario would be this ship, hits up there, we should get it. And in the time being, or for the time being, we need to go ahead and basically build an electrified track down the Key West for the future mission that's coming up so we want to use I think the, this is the track tram let me see but oh, we do have roundabouts I didn't know we had that it's good to know all right so this is going to upgrade it to tram tracks which is what we want Good right there. Okay. Don't want to do that. Now we do need a bus tram station. I'll put this right there. I do want one down here as well. This is going to bring people to this uh, port right there. And then we need one down in Key West. set this line up so it'll say here here there and back and I just want to double check one more time that we do have the street set up correctly need to add that that and that little sliver right there all right now we should be able to make a tram depot and it should be able to go on there put it right here Life is wild, good loose, and fancy free on the streets of Florida. And the police are hot on your heels. For these. We'll put it on the Miami route. So we do want to avoid this checkpoint. Let me see where it's at. So I don't know where it is at, actually. Have no vehicles with questionable cargo. Alright. So basically we just need to get rid of of this entire line. So we'll sell this. And we'll get rid of that as well. Truck run delivery to West Palm. So get rid of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the construction material line. I don't think that's really something you have to worry about. But I don't want to worry about it at all. So let's go ahead and put it back to 4X. We got the trams running now, which is good. We should have no trucks going into West Palm Beach that contain rum. 
I do want to change this back to allowing rum as well. So let's go ahead and manage the line. I'll go ahead and re-allow rum to go back to Miami. Otherwise, we're just wasting money by not delivering it. It'll take a while for it to catch up and start putting rum back here and to directly to the town of Miami. Look how big these buildings are. It's crazy. Pretty good. Mm, got four ships running. Very good. They're all making money. That was the bonus task along the long business. arm of the law. You're I can't even talk. As a whistle. In the meantime, the TV's. Okay, so we're gonna have to do quite a few things here. In one dramatic chase scene, the team of investigators is supposed to pursue the fugitives. So let's go ahead and do it one by one. Make sure that this cleverly injured. Um, I do have to set up a second line, and to do that, we do need another uh, passenger terminal or harbor, as they call it here. So I'm just going to put one down here. Don't have to connect it. Don't worry about it. It's just basically to set up the line. And we'll have it go from here to there. Basically, just need to put a hovercraft on it, and we should have two in the same area once we do that. There we go. Just beat that. So we're just going to sell this guy because we don't need him anymore. All right. Next step. Uh, let's do this one right here. We already have food getting delivered here from the line we set up previously. Um, so that will take care of itself here in a minute. Click on the airport. Okay, so for this one, we do need basically a line going from Miami back down to here. You can see it goes through right there. Put air stunt line, even though it's not really what it is. Okay, so we have to buy the plane down here, it looks like. Put it on the stunt line. And for this, all we have to do is click, I'm gonna click on this one too. The two TV cops are We have to be able to stop this plane or click on the plane. This might be cut it. There we go. So I was able to click on that plane that coming in from um, the other island to beat that so let's go ahead and just sell this one we don't need it anymore there we go all right blow up bridges pretty easy we got to blow up at least three bridges within 10 point. seconds the so bad guys are supposed to blow up several bridges all at once naturally you've never done anything like that but you so let's go ahead and fix the road otherwise our line is messed up Make sure it's electrified or tram fied as I would call it. There we go. That line was fixed. So we got four out of five for the producing series. Let's go ahead and click on this one. A sequence is currently being filmed where the team of investigators drives like crazy around the streets of Miami. Make sure there's nothing in the way on the corresponding stretches of road. All right. So pretty easy on this. We just got to basically block this section off from all traffic. There we go. The TV series is a mega success. Naturally, above all, thanks to your support. All over America. Super easy. Miami First time you do it might take you a minute. A Lure various tar all right, find out what actions should be taken in Miami, the Everglades, and Key West. So let's start with here. The Everglades National Park is a perfect destination for families out on a day trip. So we already have that this is, line running. We're just going to keep, keep it running. As long as you keep an eye on the kids and the alligators aren't hungry. The rich and beautiful among young folks won't settle for run-of-the-mill spring break parties. Bring them to Miami Beach, 
where glamour and a whiff of notoriety go hand in hand. Okay, so a couple things. We need to bring 30 people to the Spring Break Resort here. And to do that, let's go ahead and add a bus tram station. And I do want to go ahead and upgrade the road throughout because I want to use the trams. everything that we need. I think that's good. So let's find this route. We're going to edit it real quick. So Miami Central. I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way to edit. Miami Central. Just redo this. I feel like it'd be much easier, right? Back down there and back up. There we go. So that's going. We got hovercraft transporting people, which is good. Add a couple more of these guys on the tram line. The screw long stale loaves of bread are supposed to serve the prankster republic as weapons in the war against the Americans. So we already got the conch republic just because we got so much stale bread look at all this bread that we haven't transported. So to do base. that if you if you have the full amount of bread going out if you have a line, just open it up and get rid of these vehicles or leave one vehicle in there. You could also actually change the vehicle by modifying it right here and put it to this guy, this flatbed truck, and that will reduce the amount that's going out. Um, we do need food going. Oh, we already got the food to West Palm Beach, so we're good on that. We are transporting the families already to the Everglades, so we're good on that. You've produced... And we just gotta transport people up to the Spring Bake area. And I may set up another just bus station somewhere in here. Let me do this as well. I don't want that electrified or anything. This will be another route right here. Vacation route. Yeah, let's go ahead and put just three buses on it. There we go. That should help out quite a bit. Oh, I need to click down here on Key West too. Key West is a so basically it says build a streetcar, which we've already done to Key West transport like 20 people. So we already have the line set up. Transport them by streetcar. An extremely unusual means of I transportation. Should have clicked on that earlier. US. Unfortunately, I didn't, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. Wow, this thing's starting to fill up. All these lines are doing pretty good. Don't need to add anything to that. So so far, so good. Just kind of waiting for everything to check off on its own. This station right here will actually help out, bring people to here. I should have put it on the south side. So they can just walk on the road over here, but that's fine. We already have 13 people transported. I think all these will check off, hopefully, roughly at the same time. Got trams running down there. Is anybody on them? Three, zero. There's traffic. Ooh. Not good. One person on there, zero on that one. So we're slowly getting people on all the lines. If you had time to build the, the bus route through Miami, I would do a couple stops throughout here. It would definitely help out. In fact, I might. Do I need to do it for this one? No, we're still getting people on the hovercraft route. 
This is the one that took the longest last time. I think the Key West one may take the longest on this one. Um, let's go ahead and add a couple more trams if we can. Go ahead and add three more. Just to speed things up. We're making plenty of money as you can see. Like that's why I like doing the ships. Look at that. Almost 500,000. Yes, it is slow, but we have four of them running right now. And they're filling up, making plenty of money. I'm surprised I'm still awake. My eyes, I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I'm so tired right now. Good news is we're less than an hour. We're about maybe 50 minutes in at the most. Still flying through this mission. Look at all those people want to go there. Miami Central, okay. Only two people want to go to Key West, though. Go ahead and add three more to the route, because why not? Spring Breakers taken care of, which is good on that particular route. I may actually change that as well. Let me do this. I want to add a couple of bus stops. We'll put one right outside that area. And let's use the land use layer like we normally do. See all the residentials right there. get some more people down to the area that we need by doing this. We can make a line out of that. We might have it made. So one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a couple buses on there. There we go. My hope is that's going to bring people right here. And once they're dropped off here, they're literally going to get it on the Miami Port route to the Everglades. Streetcar seems to be doing okay. We only need six more people to go to that one, so really it's this still the sea route that's going to take the longest. I feel like I should have made this bus route in Miami sooner to have people circulating throughout. I should have had some bus stops down here too. Because my hope is what happens, they drop, get dropped off here, and they walk basically in here to get transported out. Let's see how this is doing, Key West. So five more people on there. There's two on that tram. <laughs> freaking. The amount of traffic is just insane. I'm not going to try to fix it. It's not... It is bad. But not bad enough for me to go through and fix it for this mission. There's three people on this tram going down there, so... We're going to take that off pretty quickly. We've got people... Waiting there, which is good. We might be getting really close towards the end. In fact, this could be the last mission, if not one of the last. It'd be awesome if I could get through the do the entire mission under an hour. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we shall see. Boats are 
pretty much full. Alright, so we just need people to go on the hovercrafts, which are already running. Basically, almost one person per hovercraft is really what's happening, so. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. This is going to tick off pretty quickly doing that, even at one person per hovercraft. There's really no need for me to add another hovercraft. I'm not making any money. I guess he's losing money right there, but overall we're almost making $10 million. I could add a bunch of trucks to all of these routes, especially the food processor to Miami to make even more money. It's really not needed at this point. But it's good to know I can always make more money if I needed to for any reason. God. And with all the goods coming in, Miami is just flourishing like crazy. Fortunate. Mm. I've got three people waiting here, so that's going to get us pretty close to where we need to be. I think the only thing that gave me trouble last time was basically you had to get the transport to under 40% again. You just want to stockpile as much bread as you can or food as you can and by doing that just transport as little bread out or food as possible on the trucks. And luckily I must have been under that 40% marker for the transport for us to get that, that checked off. So hopefully this video will help someone out there that's having problems. The last one, please. One, that'd be 48 people. That'd be 49. Just need one more person. We got one person there, so. Getting very, very close. Why didn't that. See that? I don't get it. That ship just transported one person there. It didn't check off that we got a person there. It's kind of a bummer. This better count as 48 right there, though. Please. I don't get it. That, didn't, that one didn't count either. I guess maybe they weren't going to the Everglades. I don't get it. This one has one person on it. Is it going to check it off? Or maybe it's picking these people up and taking them back that's counting. That'd be a trip if that was the case. Maybe I've been looking at it completely backwards this entire time. Let's see, this one has one on it. Let's see what happens. Does it give us 48 by transferring one there? No, it did not. <laughs> I'm so confused now. Why is it not checking that off? Not a clue why. So strange. Let me uh, let me just look somewhere else, and hopefully the game fixes itself. So I guess it has four compartments. It would hold basically 55 of four different products. But since we only have three, it uh, I guess it allocates or allows 110 one of the products which makes sense using two of the four ports all right so we're 49 out of 50 we just need one more person to get transferred over so yeah my suggestion would be to set up the bus route here and actually put this down here next to the port would give you way more people here in my opinion instead of what I'm doing now mine's kind of like a hybrid that's it. I think I just made it under a minute. Thank you guys for watching The Middle Age Gamer. Hope this helps someone out there. Please, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.
Don't you know, don't you know, it is getting low.